I'm closer to 60 than I am 50, and I certainly grew up at a time when gender was one or the other. Uh, and uh, anyone that varied from that, even if in their orientation, that was definitely um, uh, unusual uh, in how I grew up. Uh, and and then I grew up in New Jersey and then in Vermont. And I've come to realize over the years that there's so much more to it. And uh, a, a big struggle for that, not necessarily for me, although it's something I had to recognize, was in understanding that change in philosophy. That, and, and also recognizing this has always been the case, but there were just people that um, were not never felt free to express their feelings or to recognize that they might be a, a different gender than that which they were born or their parents or everyone assumed they were. So uh, I found her to be um, powerful in the sense of, uh, you know, releasing for a lot of people that could actually be who they really are, their true selves. And a great deal of that I learned, honestly, from my son. So my son's now a freshman at UVM, and while he was in high school, he was part of an LGBT club. Uh, the Alliance and taught me a great deal about it. I, feel, I think I was fairly open-minded to begin with, but learned so much from him and his friends. So that was that was great for me.